Alright, next. Yeah, Lizzie. Let's do this. <laughs> Alright. So, are you going to read 1 Corinthians 8 6? No, I'm going to take you on about this whole use of immortal. Sure, go on. Okay. You tried that earlier, you failed very badly. If you want to have a second go, no problem. I'm, I'm, I'm just going to tell you God. that the argument that you're using completely falls down because what you're doing is cherry picking to your own purposes one particular word to try and prove that somehow Jesus isn't God and it completely fails. Why? Okay, why? Because you're quoting from Paul. Okay, and your quote from Paul, the letters of Paul show very, very clearly that Paul believed absolutely that Jesus was God in the flesh. Really? So you want to take one of them? Shall we read one of them? Yes, let's read some of them. Go on. Okay. And then you'll read 1 Corinthians 8.6. Let's, let's read, let's read. Okay. Make sure you read that as well. Okay. Let's read, because this is where you come from. Okay, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Assalamualaikum. My brother in Deen, my brother in Islam, alhamdulillah. You are destroying any the battle. Faith, not for long. Destroying the battle. Not for long. Reason. Not for long. Destroy, destroy the battle. Destroy it. And cherry pick. Alhamdulillah. Okay. Is it? I'm with Anatol, so actually. Oh, your people are desert, des deserting you. Why? Just like Jesus was deserted on the cross and they all ran away. Same thing is happening to you, Lizzie. Yeah, you're running away from Jesus. Why, Hashim? I love Jesus. Who said I'm running away from you? Don't we love Jesus, Muslims? Yes, we love him. We love him. Alhamdulillah. We love Muhammad. We love Jesus. We love uh, Moses. Peace be upon them all. The Jews reject Jesus and Muhammad. The Christians reject Muhammad. We love everyone. We are so loving. Alhamdulillah. Can you hang for two minutes? Sure, no problem. Don't run away, though. Hey, Lizzie. All right, so while she's gone for two minutes, Alhamdulillah, just to summarize what the other, the other uh, 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 Christian uh, friend of Lizzie's, not a friend, maybe another co-religious was saying is that he was saying that G the second person of the Trinity died in his humanity. Okay? The fact is he died. You can only die when you got flesh. You cannot die if you don't have flesh. Well, at least not the sense that we, uh, we humans believe in death. Because death is what? Separation of the soul from the body. Yes? And that can only apply to someone who has flesh. Guess who incarnated as flesh? According to them, it was the second person of Trinity who took upon himself the flesh. The word became flesh in John 1. Yes? So it's very clear that one of them from the tr Trinity had flesh. And that person died. What form? How? Where? When? It's irrelevant. As soon as you say he died, he's immortal. Go on, Lizzie. No cameraman still? Oh, you find the cameraman. No problem. So, today we're talking about, so I came earlier and I found uh, Hashim talking to a Christian brother about uh, the deity of Christ. And Hashim was using this scripture, which is in 1 Timothy 6, 16, where it says, it's the beginning of the chapter. I charge you to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ, which God will bring about in his own time, God the blessed and only ruler, the King of kings and Lord of lords, who alone is immortal and who lives in unapproachable light whom no one can, uh, has seen or can see to him be honour and might forever. Now, what Hashim was talking about to my Christian brother friend was somehow picking this verse, this sorry, not this verse, this word, immortal, and saying, aha, immortal is someone who lives forever, right? No. Therefore, because Jesus no. died, your friend right? disagrees with you. Okay, it's on camera. Who, who doesn't die? Sorry, is that right? Someone who doesn't die. Yes, someone who doesn't okay. die. There's a better, better therefore, explanation. Yeah. Therefore, Jesus cannot be God. Yes. Okay. Yes. Now, I'd rather talk to Lizzie than Hatun. Oh, okay. So that's let's, okay. So let's talk about. So first of all, so first of all, voice, okay. Honestly. We have to ask ourselves the question, yeah. right? Who is writing one Timothy? Paul. Paul, thank you. What was Paul's opinion of Jesus Christ? Who did Paul think Jesus Christ was? Um, to me, not Almighty God. No, no, okay, you think Paul didn't think Jesus was Almighty God? No. How can you prove that from the scripture? 1 Corinthians 8 6. Okay. 1 Corinthians 8 6. And I'll give you some scriptures. No problem. You're already given one? Do you want another one? 1 Okay. For yet there is but one God, the Father, from whom all things come, for whom we live, and there is but 
about one Lord Jesus Christ. So he's the one God. Whom we all think all things come and through whom we live. Okay. Who's the one God? So wait a minute. Even this verse here is not a denial of Jesus. No, no. Who is the one true God? Let me finish. Let me finish. Sure. Okay. Okay. Because Lord also according to New. Uh, okay. Because when it calls Jesus Lord in the New Testament, that's also a divine title. But anyway, let's carry on. Let's no, no, not carry on. Can we no, discuss no, that? Let's, let's read why do you want? Why do you want to fast forward? Let's, God and Lord, Lord hold on, hold on. Who is the one true God according to Paul? He puts God and the Lord Jesus. No, who is the one true God according to him? Let me finish. Let me finish. Okay. No, you're going to another word. In case we're in any doubt. Oh, come on. Now she's going to another word. In case we're in any doubt. Lizzie, Lizzie, if Wait, you're not sir. going to be sincere, no, no, I'm then there's no point sincere. having this discussion. Oh my goodness, Hashim, I'm being very sincere. I'm going to my scripture. I'm saying. Can you, can we finish with? one at a time okay, so we discussed first timothy 6 16 okay. am i right and we discussed first timothy 16 yeah, then we moved on to first corinthians 8 6 in the in first corinthians 8 6 paul is clearly saying there's but one true god the father and one lord exactly jesus so jesus god. is okay. jesus he did one not call god, god. The father. he one called god. him god. in that verse he calls him and do you know what lord. do you know what and by the way the devil is called the Lord as well. Doesn't mean he's a, okay. he's a God. No. Okay. In the Bible, hey, the devil is the God hey, of the world. Hashim? The Satan is the God of the earth. Yeah. The Lord of the earth. Hashim, Does that mean he's God? No. Sure, if we're still not sure, let's go to some other verses that make it really clear what Paul thought of Jesus. Okay. Let's go to Philippians 2, for example. Yeah, I'll give you a better okay? one. Actually. Your but attitude on. should be the same as that of Long Christ Jesus. Jesus. I'll give you a couple. Okay, do you two agree? Yeah, Your attitude on. should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God, did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but made himself nothing, taking the very nature of a servant, and being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. That's okay? Can okay. you yeah, discuss that? Wait. Uh, you she just reads it. She doesn't want to discuss it. I'm just going to make it very, very clear, clear in case you're not clear. Actually, you need to make it, if you want to make it clear, why don't you discuss it worse? The reason you want to fast forward is because you know, by, off, by really being Colossians ambiguous here to, you, no, you no, want to reach an you, argument you were trying to make out that Paul was ambiguous about whether or not he Jesus was God. No, very clear first Corinthians 8 says you, clearly uh, two Philippians, the only true I'm God the two, Father you got to have it more clear than that I'm showing you two Colossians here okay for in Christ all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form all the fullness of the deity lives in bodily form in Christ what does that sound like does that sound like Jesus is just a human creature no. Are you, are you like talking Paul, to Hatun or me? It sounds like Paul <laughs> listen, listen, thought listen. that Jesus was in his very nature God. He writes that to the Philippians. Jesus, uh, with the fullness of the deity, lives in, Jesus, in, in bodily form. That's Paul again. And let's see what Can we discuss any of this? Let's see what he or is it just hit and run here? Titus. Let's see what he says to Titus. Okay, let's see what he calls. Yes. You I know what she's doing? She's trying to read verse after verse after verse. Yeah. Because this is the only no, way they can preach. No, no, wait a without, minute. Without, without looking at the explicit verses, this is, this is, this is they will go to the implicit ones. Hashim, this is the answer. I know how. Your argument, Hashim, which is to say, to take one single word, immortal, and thereby somehow infer that Paul means that Jesus isn't divine. Was Wrong. he immortal? Wrong. Was Here Jesus immortal? Here we go. Wait, let's go in this Titus. Okay. <laughs> right. Chicana, I know. The glorious appearing okay, of our great she Lord like the you know, and Saviour, Jesus Christ. And even in Timothy, what does that verse, where immortal comes, it says here, to keep this command without spot or blame until the appearing of our Lord Jesus Christ. Okay, which is the same phraseology. Paul makes it very clear in his letter to Titus that the glorious appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Okay, about? so there are two... You have talked for quite you a while. You gave, me, you gave me verse after verse after verse. Let me ask you a question. Given all that I've given you, verse after verse after verse, where Paul is affirming, okay, that Jesus is God in the flesh, how can you then make this silly argument based on this one cherry pick, this one word, immortal, as if to infer that somehow Jesus is not God? Okay. First, before we, I respond to that, do you believe Jesus is immortal? I believe Jesus is God. That wasn't Jesus my question. Jesus is reigning eternally That wasn't in my heaven. question. Is Jesus immortal? Yes or no? By the definition of the word immortal, in the context, First Timothy 6, 16, is Jesus okay. immortal? Jesus, Im okay, Im immortality means living forever? No, not dying. Jesus is living forever? Not dying. Jesus you said it yourself on camera. According to who? According to who? Okay, let's say According to the Oxford okay. Dictionary, okay. according to the Strong's Concordance, 
both of them, in fact, your friend even saw the definition I gave in the Strong's Concordance. The Greek word is anesthesia, mm -hmm. and this word actually means not dying. Okay, so let's, let's wait, come wait, back wait, to that. wait, 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 wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Actually, hold on, hold on. Do you, do, do you know what the Strong's Concordance is? about what the scripture is saying, we go to another part of scripture to clarify. We don't go to the dictionary, we go to another part of scripture. Do you know what the Strong's Concordance is? Lizzie, do you know what the Strong's Concordance is? Some kind of dictionary. It's not some kind of dictionary. It's a religious dictionary. It gives you definition of each word in the Bible. What is it? It's called the Strong's Concordance. This Bible was actually, sorry, this dictionary which you call is actually compiled by the Christians. Not some atheists, agnostic, Muslims, Hindus or some other religion. What they do is because we do not have definitions of words in the Bible, they give definitions by the context. So when oh, you look at that's exactly what I've done. No, you haven't. Exactly you haven't given a definition. What yeah, is the definition of immortal again? But I'm telling what is the definition you, of immortal? What is, it's not my definition. You know what? No, you I'm, said you have done it. So sir, tell me what's sir, the definition. Sir, chill. Okay, relax. I'm, I'm relaxed. Down. Don't worry. I'm down. Okay. Okay. The point is, it's not Strong's definition of immortal. It's not my definition of immortal. Then it's who's? not your definition then of immortal definition? That's, that's important. It's what does Paul mean? What is Paul talking about? Have you got Paul here to verify this? No, but we have his writings. Has Paul? So we go to the writers of Paul. Paul defined. Then we go to the, please let me finish. Let me finish. Okay? And then we go to the other letters of Paul. If we're thinking, oh, maybe I'm confused. Maybe immortal means somebody who never can possibly die. Can he possibly mean that about Jesus? And no, because when we go to the other verses of Paul that say that Jesus was in very nature God, God, that in Jesus all the fullness of First the day he was in bodily form. Okay, if we talk to Titus about the appearing of our great God and Saviour, Jesus Christ. Yes. Okay, that that must mean that Jesus is God and that yes, Jesus can die. Die and rise again, and in Paul's view, that you know, still I asked you for the definition of immortal. Still you still haven't immortal. given me after all that, that racket. Still makes him immortal. Paul's definition of immortal God. Yes. must mean, Lizzie. according to what is the definition? Show me the definition. Well, no, we can because I'm just no, no. Don't tell me what he implied. Show me no, the no. definition uh, because listen, she said I'm, I'm we go by Paul's definition. Yes. Now you show me the definition. I'll tell you. Is it there? Okay. Here's the thing. Lizzie, you talk a lot. Is the definition there in the Bible or not? No, I let you talk a lot already. It's on camera. So any. Anything you accuse me of can be verified by the people who are okay. watching this. Okay. So if you're telling me I did not let you talk, that is an ultimate lie. I'm not okay? So now, once can again, you made a claim. You made a claim that we go by definition of Paul. Yes. Can you show me where Paul defined the now, word immortal? Yes, will you if you answer talk? this question. Okay. We, Paul doesn't per se, like, like, a, like a dictionary, like you want him to, because you want him everything in your particular worldview. He doesn't say, oh, by the way, my definition of immortal is this, but he de facto, indirectly, defines immortal by, if you look at the context, if you look at the rest she of Paul's writings... She uses the word writings, de facto and then indirectly. Okay, yeah, okay, if you look at the rest of what Paul says about who Christ is, okay, that he is God and Saviour, that he is in very nature God. Okay, my question, he, is he though, immortal, he yes or no? Is Jesus immortal? Yes or no? Jesus is immortal. So nobody died. So he didn't die on the cross. Then? No, no, no. Because now you're imposing Hashim's definition. No, I'm using the strong concordance. No, no. And, which is a oh, Christian sorry, definition. Sorry, sorry. Now you're imposing the strong concordance when I've just told you very clearly that it's not about your definition. It's not about the. Is it an English word? It's an English word. Is, is immortal an English word? It's not about the strong concordance. Is it an English word? The word immortal. You interpret scripture with scripture. Okay. Is, right? is the scripture? And according to wait, the scripture, wait, wait. according to the scripture, okay, Paul considers Jesus God, okay. And come on, the Lord, come on. when he says immortal, in his definition, yeah, God must mean the something who death on. cannot crush. And did death crush Jesus? You know, no, that's, it that's didn't. Actually, because, Jesus because she doesn't want to. She doesn't, she doesn't want to actually. Oh, she doesn't, she doesn't want to admit else. that the word immortal means someone who doesn't die. Okay, am I right? I don't want to miss. I'm you. I don't want to miss represent you because Lizzie here no, because does not mean me does not imply it's according not to her definition. the word immortal it's doesn't mean someone who dies Strong's definition it's about how Paul means it to be understood that's fine and it's very clear from the rest of scripture that Paul's meaning of immortal means somebody for whom death okay. cannot crush but who is conquered death and no who can problem. rise no again problem. from death let's play your that's game Lizzie let's play your game let's play your let's problem. play your game now yeah listen. let me ask you this question do you now take back the no 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 I'm not I'm going to ask you this and then you can ask me when I can take back that from what I've read from scripture that Paul definitely because this is something you're unsure about Paul you're trying to make out that actually Paul didn't teach the divinity of Christ will you now accept that Paul definitely thought definitely believed that Jesus was God in the okay. flesh you know I let you talk a lot Good for the I think yeah. it is only for you fair enough for you that if you allow me to talk without you interrupting 
Okay, I will okay. ask you a question. No, I will ask you a question and expect a specific answer to that question. I, yeah, and I expect no, you have been beating it on the bush all this time. No, you know. No, no, okay, let me ask you this one. I'd like you to answer. Okay, mine. let me ask. Believe Paul taught that no, I will. I will answer the way I want. Let me ask you that before that. Does God die? You're not answering my question. I will. I after you question. answer mine. Remember, this was my question from the very beginning. Mm -hmm. This you haven't answered yet. Does God die? Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, in his flesh dies and he rises you see what I mean? because you see what I mean? he is God in the flesh. I've you see answered what I mean? the question. No, so I've answered the it's, question. It's like when I asked Lizzie, when I asked Lizzie, are you a woman? She, she says, no, I live in this part of London. I go by bus over there. I take the tube sometimes. Lizzie, very simple Actually, question. Does God die? I just answered the question. Now answer mine. Okay. Are you, are you a Christian, sir? I didn't avoid Are you a Christian? Do you speak? Are you allowed to speak by Lizzie? No, you're not. He's sitting there. Lizzie, you conclude your mouth like that. Okay, did I answer the question? Did I answer the question? Did I answer the question? No, he did. Like He's not even saying yes. Okay. Are you allowed no, to say yes for her at least? No, 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 like you to no, you didn't answer my question. I, I asked you, did I God? Ask you I asked you, did God die? You said about Jesus. I asked well, you, did, did God die? Else? Yeah, I said Jesus, the second person of the Trinity, who's God in the flesh. He died and then he rose again. Thank you very much. Okay. Who's now? Who's now? No, you haven't answered the question. You should have answered because the second person of the Trinity is not only what defines God. Do you know that? The second person of the Trinity is not what defines God. Why are you so scared of answering my question? I'm not scared. Okay, then answer it. Answer, is, after after you have answered mine. Does Paul teach Lizzie, Lizzie, that Jesus Lizzie, is God in the flesh? Lizzie, I don't get controlled by the men like your Christian friends. <laughs> no, no, you're just avoiding. I'm, I'm, I'm independent of you. The shame is avoiding okay? this question. No, I'm not. Does Paul teach my question that God, still remains, God in the flesh? Did God die? You told me about the I've second person. That. Unless, according I've to Lizzie, that. God is only the second person of the Trinity, then yes, she has answered the question. No, I didn't say that God was the answer, that Jesus was the answer. So answer God the question. Did, does God die? Yeah. No, no, I've answered the question. No, you no, haven't. No, I have, you just don't like my Okay, answer. guys, did Lizzie answer my question? No, 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 no. Everyone here is saying no. Did? Well, um, that, of course they would say that, wouldn't they? Okay, but these guys are not Muslims, <laughs> yeah? You guys are not Muslims, right? Okay, when I asked this lady the question, did God die? Do you want to hear my answer? Do you want to hear her answer? And you tell me if she answered my question. Uh, the question was, did God, does God die? Sorry. Does God Almighty die? Okay, and this is my answer. Jesus, who is God in the flesh, died when he died on the cross, and then, but death couldn't control, didn't have mastery over him because he rose again. Did she answer my question? So Jesus, who is the second, of the, of the second person of the Trinity, fully God, fully man, yes, he did die on the cross. Thank you. Now Do you think she answered my, my question? question. Yes, my question God, was very God. simple. Does God Almighty die? She mentioned about one of the persons in the Trinity. According to her, if only one person in the Trinity is God, God. then yes, He's she would. Jesus, if the second person in the Trinity is the only one who can be defined as God, then yes, she answered. Yes, My question died. wasn't about Jesus which person in the Trinity died. Right? My it's question is, does God Almighty die? A yes, very simple no, question. Simple. Okay, Hashim, let me ask you guys you this question. Do you believe in God? The question. Do you guys believe in God? Everybody, do you believe in God, everybody, please? why is Hashim not answering my question? So, so. Which is, okay. did Jesus, okay. in your way, did do you Paul believe God can teach die? that God, Jesus was God in the flesh? The God is, is not the same. As humans. It's, it, it's not a human. Absolutely. It's a, it's a form of Right, energy. why are you avoiding it? So, in, so somewhere, I, I respect what lady says. Thank you. Okay, she, okay Hashim, she doesn't why believe God are is you only avoiding energy? my question? question. Why are you avoiding okay? my question? So basically, my question was very simple. Did God die? I did not ask, did the second person of Trinity... No, you answered, did the second person of the Trinity die? Is that right, Lizzie? answer me. Now answer my question. Okay. I will you answer your question after you answer mine. Do teaches that Jesus is God in the flesh? Not Almighty God. Not Almighty God. Shall I read those scriptures again? No, okay, no, no, maybe no, 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 no. Why don't we look at each one of them? Maybe you've been asleep while you've been trying to read your Can Bible. we look at okay, each one of them without you just reading them? Okay. okay. No, because she had had a lot of time, it's only fair that I read I read the scripture. Let's look at Philippians okay, let's look at Philippians too. Go on. And we'll this this time we'll discuss the uh, verses. Shall we do that? Let's look at Philippians Shall we discuss them afterwards? Okay. Yeah, sure. Good. Go on. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God. This is Paul writing to the Philippians. Okay. And Hashim has just told. Carry on. Carry on. You haven't finished yet. Believe that Paul thinks that Jesus is God in the flesh. Carry on. All right did not consider equality with God something to be grasped, but right. made himself nothing, taking right. the very nature of a servant, being made in human likeness, and being found in appearance as a man, he humbled himself and became obedient to death, even death on a cross. Yeah. Why? Therefore, now let me finish because it's so beautiful. Therefore, God exalted him, Jesus, to the highest place and gave him the name that is above every name. It's above the name of Muhammad, guys. It's above every name. But at the name of Jesus, every knee should bow. Muslims, we don't bow to him. bow the knee to Jesus. 
go. Because he is in very nature God. We bow to the, to the God who, and judge you. of Jesus. Now to whom Jesus bowed. Yes, okay. He says in the name God. of Jesus, every knee should bow. You see, this is the insincerity. Yes. I thought she and said she was going to discuss it. Okay, and every Why do you lie, Lizzie? Why do you lie? That Jesus Christ is Lord to the now glory of God the now Father. Amen. Who? Who? Oh, Jesus, Lord. Shall Lord. we discuss it now, Lizzie? <laughs> you promise okay. that we're going to discuss it. Hold on, let's discuss it. Okay. Based on that verse, wait a minute. Based on that verse, I never get enough. Wait a minute. I never get enough to talk about Jesus. I believe it. Based on that verse, it says God exalted him. Which God exalted him? Wait a minute, why are you avoiding the part where it says Jesus who being in very nature God? Well, I'm coming to that, but before you go there, no, explain that to me. Machine, machine, who, machine. which God exalted him? Relax. Okay. I'm relaxed, don't worry. Okay. My question was, my question was, does Paul teach that Jesus is God in the flesh? And here I'm reading After you again, answer my question. Read it, maybe read it asleep, 10 times, my question will remain the same. Passage, okay? Which God exalted okay. him? That of Jesus, Jesus, of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God. Are you telling me seriously with a straight face that Paul does not teach that Jesus is God in the flesh? Not Almighty God. Shall okay. I tell you why? Shall I yeah. tell you why? It's great. Good. Even though so you've read these clear yes. verses, and there are others. Okay. We have two Colossians, we have Titus, we have loads of places where, Jesus, where Paul writes that Jesus okay. is God. First and foremost, you said we should let the scripture define things. Absolutely. Okay. How does the scripture define God? Let's see how it defines Jesus. Yes. Okay, no, no, God. Is, every time I say God, she wants to define Jesus. Jesus. Because, this is the because she does not why consider that, the, sorry, the Father as God. That, why is that a surprise? <laughs> why is that a surprise? Because as a Christian, of course I think Jesus is God. I don't know why it's so surprising. What about the Father? Is he God? My question to you. He's the Father Hashim, God. Hashim, 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 remember the question. Remember yeah. the question, okay? The question is, do you honestly think... I answered three times Paul, already. Okay. I answered three okay. times. So I think maybe... If you're hard of hearing or I understanding, think, I, I, I think then that's the issue. You're finding it difficult to understand. You need to visit a doctor sir, if, you're, if you've got sir, those issues. I think you're finding it very I'm difficult to understand very simple texts. What is the... Is this, what is... is this. How do you okay. understand God from the scripture? Let's try again. Your attitude should be the same as that of Christ Jesus, who being in very nature God. Your attitude is the okay. same as your now, God? Are you telling me? <laughs> are you telling me? <laughs> is your attitude the same as your God? Are you telling me? Not all, so I'm not all. But Thank God. Thing, but Hashim, Hashim, please be honest now. I am honest. Are you honestly telling me what? that you're saying when we're reading this clear scripture to you that Paul, you're of the opinion that Paul didn't think that Jesus was God of the flesh? I asked you what is the meaning answer of God. Question. No, no, no. no you, see, God. you see, earlier, earlier when I asked you to answer my question, you went to the second person of Trinity when my question was, did God die? You only consider the second person of the Trinity as God, Lizzie? No, I think is the Father God? Wait, is the Father God? I'm not debating. You did not answer my question when I asked a specific question. And you expect me to answer specifically. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. That says. Yes. That Paul says that Jesus, he considers Jesus, okay, who being in very nature God. And you're saying, no, 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 no. I know, Paul so, did not teach no, no, no. that Jesus I asked you, what is the meaning of God? From the scripture Just like you wanted Jesus to define immortal the and now from the scripture, trying, define God from the scripture. Now you're trying to move away from this very simple question, which has a very simple answer. Oh, you mean like, who died on the cross? Simple God. question. Was did God die? Simple God. question. She waited that. Lizzie, how do you like the taste of your own medicine? You see, when I asked you a simple question, did God die on the cross? I answered that. What did you no, say? The second person of Trinity. Am I right? That's right. You answered in relation to the second person only. That's right. Okay, let me ask you this. Is God only the second person? Of course he's not, but why is he avoiding this? Why is he avoiding this? See what I mean about simple Hashim, question? Now she knows what simple question means. Hashim, okay, so now when I ask Lizzie, explain to me the cult. meaning you're of the term cult. God from the Bible. She doesn't want to do that. She's avoiding that question. Know, Tell me what is the meaning of God based on the Bible. Sorry, Hashim. I think Hashim, we let's need another. Okay? Yeah, let's but do it again. It's a very, very simple question. That I yeah. Asked you. What and is the meaning of God? Very simple question. You're right. Very simple question. What is the meaning of God, Lizzie? Can you tell me from the Bible? Right. God is okay. What the revelation tells me, God is. Which is? Okay. And the revelation here tells me that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Where does it say that? Tells me. Where does it say that God is Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? In the flesh. Okay. So she made a claim that God is Father, Son, Holy Spirit in the Scripture. Can you? Show You're me that. Me. No, 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 because we're going to go back to this, this is called no, no, a deliberate lie in order to win an argument. No, sorry. You're being disingenuous the there, and you know that. Lying. I'm not the one who's lying. You said, said God means the Father, Son, and Holy God. Yeah. Sorry, Holy Spirit. Show me that from the scripture. Okay. You said, let the scripture define the scripture. Okay. So yeah. show me okay, where fine, in the scripture fine, God fine. says fine. that He is the Father, oh, okay. Son, and Holy Ghost. Fine, fine, fine. Or Holy Spirit. Fine, fine, fine. We'll find out who's telling fine, fine, fine. the lie now. But also, Hashim, I'm sorry. Don't change the topic. Just answer the question. Are you reading the question? 
question. No, my topic was about immortality. She doesn't even accept that. The meaning of immortal means not dying. In order to win an argument, you want to answer that. You're going against the strong, strong quotes. You're going against the Oxford Dictionary. You're going against all the dictionaries which actually have defined the word immortal. I'm so sorry, Hashim. I'm so sorry that you have to go to the dictionaries and you will not let interpret scripture with scripture. It's sad that you don't use the dictionaries. That's really sad. Okay. Okay. Anyone who uses English words and not understanding the meaning of the English words immortal, then you really have to go to the dictionary. Is your Bible in English? Sir. Is it in English? Yeah, it is in English. Okay. There you go. So you must. I asked Hashim. We're going to wrap this up. I can see that. Wrap up, guys. Wrap up. Wrap up. So she made a claim <laughs> that God means the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Is she okay. going to show us that yeah, evidence? Here we go, Matthew 28. This is just to keep you quiet. Yes. Yeah, show me that that is God. Jesus says, okay, therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, yeah, the baptizing the in the name, one name, of the Father and of the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Where does it say God? And teaching them to Where does it say they're God? Exactly. It doesn't say they're God. It just says three persons. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, and baptize them in the name. Does it say they are one? No. Does it say they are God? No. You, you lost this argument. Goodbye, Lizzie. No so, wonder you want no, to run away. Uh, you want to run away because I you said to wrap it up. No, no. Yeah, do you know why? Because why? Because you, you can't answer my questions. questions. The question I asked Hashim is, Jesus, does Paul teach that Jesus is God in the flesh? And he went, no, no, no. And then I read him very clearly. I read in Philippians 2 where it says, Jesus being in very nature God. I read him Colossians 2 talking about... And I read you 1 Corinthians 8, 6, which says, the only true God, the Father. What more you want? You know, that's clear. God, There's a problem with Christians. Christ, they look at unambiguous says, no, 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 no. verses the when there are clear. Sorry, sorry, they look at ambiguous Actually, verses when there are clear, so, cut, ambiguous, sorry. unambiguous verses. Well, like First Corinthians eight six, the only true God, according to Paul, is the Father. The yeah. Father. Thank oh. you very much. With that, we rest. Oh, I think we should conclude with that because at the end of the day, she doesn't want to understand what the meaning of God is. When I asked her, what is the meaning of God? I thought you wanted to wrap up. <laughs> so when I when I asked her what is the meaning of God, she said and she claimed that it means the Father, Son, and Holy Ghost. Then she read us to then she read to us the Great Commission. Yes, Matthew 19. And she read to us, baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Does it say these are God? No, it does not. Does it say they are one? No, it does not. At the least, you can say yes, they share a common name. So if there were three people here with the name of Lizzie, maybe they all are one. According to her logic, which they are not, because according to her, she to cannot define God. even the word God from the Bible, is which is really a tragedy for these Trinitarians. Unfortunately, they have to succumb to the fact that they actually have to come to believe that their God died by their own creation. Sorry, by his own creation, by God's own creation. This is ludicrous. It is a blasphemy against God and she knows that. Lizzie, you really have to believe that God doesn't die as he says in 1 Timothy 6.16 by Paul. Paul also says that God is the one. God is the one who ordained him. Okay, God is the one who ordained him. God is the one who made Jesus into nothing. Jesus was made into nothing. That doesn't sound like God either. In John he says, I by myself can do nothing. Yes? As I hear, I obey. He's obedient servant of God, not God Almighty. Yes, Paul did mention and use the word God for Jesus, but that wasn't as Almighty God. The one that is used in 1 Corinthians 8, 6, when he says he is God and Jesus is the Lord, there's a di the reason he, su he separated the word God and Lord is because here he's trying to distinguish between the two. One is God Almighty. The other is someone who is given reverence and, and uh, honor as a Lord on the earth. Because in the Bible, if you're going to use this logic of Lizzie, that the word Lord means God, then she should accept that the Satan is God. Because he says he is the Lord of the world. Yes, and Jesus in Galatians 3.13, it says that he's cursed. Anyone who hangs on a pole is cursed. And Jesus, according to them, is cursed. What kind of a book is this a religious book? Is this inspired by the Holy Ghost or the unholy ghost? You tell me. In the Quran, Allah says the Satan is cursed and Jesus is the one who is honored. Jesus and his mother are honored in the, in the, in the Quran. Now you tell me when Jesus reads the words in, in this gospel, sorry, yeah, in, the, in, the, in, this, in, in Galatians, in Galatians, then he, she will realize, sorry, Jesus will realize that this book is calling me a cursed one. What kind of people you are these? You, need to repent. you know what they're called? They're called Christians. These Christians are, are cursing Jesus, whom I love and who is my Messiah and who is a prophet and one of the mightiest messengers of God. These people are calling him cursed. In the Quran, it is a Satan. Allah says, in the Quran, we read when he says, Audhu Billahi Minash Shaitanir Rajim, the cursed one. And in the Quran, Allah is the one who is 
is the Lord and the Lord of the world. It is not. It is Lord of the world. Who is the Lord of the world in the Quran? Rabbu Samawati wal Ard, Lord of the world and the heavens. And he says in the Quran that he is the Lord. In the Bible, the Satan is the Lord of the world. Now you tell me whether the Bible has been inspired by the Holy Ghost or the unholy Ghost. Okay. I think anyone who calls Jesus cursed and, and calls himself. the Satan the Lord is being inspired read by the, the devil himself. Don't listen to him. Read and the Bible. Bible. I think we, I think we should wrap up here because yeah. she is yes. very disingenuous. She doesn't answer simple questions like when I asked her, did God die? She said the second person of Trinity died in his flesh. That is not the answer to what the question I asked you. Unless she, unless she, one trick pony? Or is that God the Builder, the hat trick pony? Don't worry about it. <laughs> now wait a minute, you can bring, look, That's you can bring your hat trick phonies, okay? I can hear phonies. You can hear phonies, but I can hear phonies. What, what kind of, by the way, where is your, where is, where is your phony Arabic teacher? Your Arabic expert, remember Daniel? Where you got bulldozed? By your Arabic expert? Where is, where is your other expert called Godwin? The guy who doesn't even know David is a prophet. Hashim, 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 Hashim. Huh? Goodbye. No, why? <laughs>